Good afternoon, everyone. Jessica Q here, and it is time for NV Live. I missed you guys last week, but don't worry. I have tons of great information for you today to make up for last week, so get ready for it. And today, our sponsor is Grip House. I'm actually at Grip House, so I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about Grip House. And um, just to give you some uh, little teasers of what I'm going to be talking about. I'm going to be talking about some news. I got some really great information on how renters can get some money, some free money, yes. So stay tuned. But welcome, welcome. I'm at Grapau. Uh, of course, with everything going on right now, uh, their dining in is not open, but they are open for takeout and to go. And if you have not eaten at Grapau yet, I got to tell you guys, this is one of my regular spots. I absolutely love it. And uh, let me just tell you a little bit about them. So um, they have some new menu items coming out very soon. They're gonna have the Thai beef jerky and it pairs great with the Are You Tahin To Me, which is a cucumber cocktail. It's so yummy. It's one of my favorite drinks to get here. And a new variety of whiskey. So they're gonna start rotating whiskeys out. So if you're a whiskey person, you're gonna love trying all their new whiskeys that will be coming in. Uh, also, uh, their bar. So right now, of course, they're not open, but they have two different areas here. They have a restaurant area and they have a bar area. Really, really cool. When they first started, it was only a restaurant, but they built on this whole other area. It's a fun bar. This place is always popping, okay? There's always people here. It's always so, so much fun. So let's hope all this craziness ends soon so we can get to Grapel. Um, and uh, so let's talk about uh, where they're located. They're located in the Mission Grove Center. So uh, they're located at 497 Alessandro. Boulevard. So if you guys get a chance, try out their food for now. You can call them for to go or take out. And the number is 951-780-1132. I'm also going to put the number um, in the post once I'm done with the live. But now let's move on to some news. Let's talk about the news. What's going on? Right now, we're moving into the third week of no indoor anything. Basically, lots of businesses have been closed and a lot of us are missing, you know, like the gym. Um, they've closed salons. I feel really bad for, you know, our our hairstylists, our barbers, because they've been shut down again. Um, but of course, you know, as soon as they open up, we're all gonna be there supporting them. Um, of course, anything of entertainment has been closed and it's like, ah, oh, what are we supposed to do? Hey, Joel, <laughs> thank you for tuning in. Um, so uh, yeah, businesses are closed right now. What can we do? You can go ahead and start putting stuff out here. So at the end of the show, I'm gonna be sampling some of Group House food. So you might see some stuff coming out. Check this out, ooh, yummy. Thank you, Isaac. Oh, and this is the cucumber cocktail, right? The are you tahin to me? <laughs> Very cool. Okay, I'm gonna be trying that a little bit later too. So stay tuned. Um, but yes, so what I wanna talk about, you know, everything closing down, please support the businesses that are open if you can. Um, you know, there's a lot of different ways to do that. I'll be talking about that in resources as well. But uh, go support all these local businesses. They need your help. Um, these business owners, you know, made their dreams come true. And, and unfortunately, all this is happening. So we're the people that need to continue to support them, right? Um, let's talk about something I think is really funny that's been in the news. The coin shortage. They ran out of coins? I don't get it. How does this happen? But uh, I did some research and I found out the reason why there's a coin, coin shortage um, is because the U.S. coin... Okay, wait. Hold on. It's the U.S. Mint slowed down the production of making coins. And since people are not out and they're not spending their coins, so like a lot of people go to laundromats or vending machines, since they're not doing that, there's a coin shortage. So that's kind of crazy. I saw an article about Kroger is now, uh, if you don't have the exact amount, they want you to pay with a credit card or they round up your total amount. So that's kind of crazy. I don't know if you guys have uh, heard about that or seen that on social media, but yeah, kind of crazy. So now they have a US coin task force, okay? Yes, the force is out there, and they're trying to save all the coins, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I thought it was kind of funny. I wanted to talk to you guys about that. And uh, let's talk about some uh, oh summer vacation. Right now, most of us should be on summer vacation. A lot of us had to cancel our trips, and, you know, it's been pretty tough. So I want to remind you guys, don't forget that it's summer. 
And don't, don't let the only thing that you experienced from this summer is the heat, okay? Get out there and do stuff. There's some things that you can do. You can still travel, so if you feel safe, um, go ahead and do it. Uh, the airlines are implementing tons of safety measures. They're you know doing temperature scans, they're requiring face masks, and they're doing extra cleaning in the planes and all around the airports. So you can, you know, feel safe and of course carry your hand sanitizer. You'll be set. Uh, you know, of course, that's up to you if you want to or not. But uh, what else? There's, uh, you could rent an RV, go on a road trip, or I have to tell you guys, I went somewhere a couple weeks ago. It was called Hicksville. Google it. You, I don't even know the address. I didn't get the address. Two days before I went there, they sent me directions. I got lost for two hours, but once I found it, it was the most amazing place I'd ever been to. There was only 15 people in this whole place. They had BB guns, archery, uh, oversized shuffleboard, a saltwater pool, a jacuzzi on the roof. I mean, it was crazy. So if you guys want to try something new, go Google. Google's your best friend right now. You can find so many things to do. And um, also hiking, you can go to national or state parks. They didn't close those yet. Um, and you know, uh, beaches are open. So however you feel about that, but beaches are open. And uh, fishing trips, those are a lot of fun. There are a lot of charter boats that you can rent and you can go out and go fishing. And yeah, so there's a lot of things to do. So make sure, I wanna make sure you guys are happy and you're, you know, don't let all this craziness get you down. Go do something that's gonna make you happy. So get out there and experience summer before it's over. Um, now we're moving into resources. Okay, so I got some really, really great resources for you guys. So the first one I want to talk about is actually something good for businesses. So if you have a business or if you are just like, you know, just a person that wants to support these local businesses. So it's called hashtag shop safe shop local. Okay, it's, it was created by San Bernardino County and what they're doing is, I see you guys, uh, let me see your comments. I see you. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Um, What's going on in Vegas? Yeah, Vegas, the, it's semi still open, so you gotta go check it out. I don't know, I haven't been in, in a little over a month, so I'm not sure. But uh, so, shop safe, shop local, and what they're doing is they're promoting eating to, at local places or shopping at local places that are open. So you can actually go there and you can find all the places that are currently open, which is great. So if you're a business and you have not connected with this uh, website go ahead and get on there it's for free you can put in all your information let people know that you're open um, if you are somebody like me you just want to find places that you can support you can go there and find it and of course after the live is over I'll make sure to have all this information in the post so you guys can go click on a link and find all this great information okay and then this is really awesome so for businesses uh, the city of Riverside is currently offering uh, free permits to conduct business outdoors. Okay, so if you have a business and you want to figure out a way how to conduct business outdoors, I'm going to give you some ideas right now. Restaurants, obviously, if you have a parking lot, the city is willing to work with you. ABC is willing to work with you. So go talk to them and figure it out. Also, um, I haven't seen this done yet, but I think it's a really great idea. If you're a store, you know, go outside, set up a tent, put some tables outside. That's outdoor, right? So go call your local city, see what they got going on, whether it's a free permit, which Riverside is doing, or if it's not, there's a, w there's a way, okay? When there's a will, there's a way. We're gonna get through this, and we're gonna get through it stronger than ever. Um, and this is my last resource for the day, and this is a really, really great resource, okay? So if you are a renter, and you are truly struggling through this co the COVID times, the Rona times, uh, they are, uh, they're giving out $33 million, okay, so $33 million to renters that, that need help paying for the rent. So you can get up to $3,500 uh, per household, and what you need to do is you need to go and apply. There's an application online. I'm going to put the link in my post once I'm done with the video. And uh, the deadline is July 25th, so you don't have too much time. So even if you don't, uh, if you want to just hurry up and get on it, uh, if you're a renter, uh, just go Google United Way of the Inland Valleys. They're the one that are, that are doing this, and you can find the application to get up to $3,500. It's a grant, meaning you do not have to pay it back. Okay, so if you're a renter, you need help. There's some help right there for you guys. Okay, so um, and it is it is awarded by a lottery system. So there is. You, you can't really put anything in there that's gonna make you stand out more. They're just gonna pick out random names and they've got $33 million to give away. So 
do that. Go ahead and try to get some money and pay your rent. Hey guys, I see you tuning in. <laughs> okay, so, um, all right, so now back to Grapau. Now I got a call. Where's Isaac? Isaac is one of the owners here. So his dad is Patrick, if you've ever been to Grapau. Uh, Patrick is, uh, you know, the, the, the main guy here, and he's awesome. Um, you know, I always say Mr. Patrick, and um, he's just, he's so much fun. If you, if you know him or if you don't, once you meet him, you're going to just love him. But here, He's actually designed, I say designed because the food is really amazing here, but these dishes that they have here are phenomenal. Everything is so, so good. Um, they also have a sushi bar, uh, but let's see here. I know that Isaac just brought this out for me. So this is the Are You Tahin to Me? <laughs> are You in Tahin to Me? So check it out. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? It has one big ice cube and, of course, tahin all around the rim and a cucumber with tahini on it. And let's see, I've tried this. I already know I love it. This is my go-to drink whenever I come to Grapau. Mmm. Oh, it's so yummy. You can taste the cucumber, and then the tahini just gives it that nice little spice. Excellent, excellent drink. And they are gonna have that new menu coming out. And uh, one of the items is gonna be the Thai beef jerky. So they're recommending that you pair the Thai beef jerky with this drink. So when you come in, try that. Now there's another dish. Oh, is that the Thai beef jerky? Am I gonna actually, am I gonna be one of the first people to try it? Should I just eat with my hands? <laughs> Can you give me silverware, please? <laughs> okay, so check it out. I do believe this is the Thai beef jerky. Isaac is missing. Isaac is Patrick's son. He's somewhere. I don't know where he is. Okay, I, I'm just gonna dig in. What do you guys think? Should I just dig in? <laughs> Thank you, some chopsticks. So check this out. I do believe this is the Thai, is it the Thai beef jerky? It looks like it, huh? Look at that, it looks so good. And see how beautiful the platter comes out? So every time, every dish, they've got garnishments on it. It looks beautiful. They've got all these different sauces. And for now, to go, oh, there he is. Is this the Thai beef jerky? That is the Thai beef jerky. Awesome, so is it on the menu yet? Uh, yes, it will be on the menu. Also. It will be like in the next? In the next like week or so week or so okay so guys put that in your calendar in a week you can start ordering the thai beef jerky all right and then i think i saw some chopsticks i'm gonna try it so i already talked a little bit about this is there anything about this drink that you want people to know yes so, uh fresh ingredients all in there freshly squeezed cucumber lime and um just amazing. Just amazing. I yeah. was telling them that this is like my go-to drink like every time i come in i order that one i love it all right and let's see, let's try this out. Okay, so Thai beef jerky. Now is this one of your, this is one of your dad's creations, right? Correct. Yep, so I was telling them that your dad, Patrick, is, you know, you guys are, you own it together, right. but uh, he's the mastermind behind all these amazing dishes. So let's see here. And you know, I don't know if you guys can see, but you can see like the, it's like saucy, like there's a sauce on it and everything. Okay, check it out. Mmm, wow. I can taste like, um, it's like sweet, spicy. It kind of even has like orange chicken kind of flavor. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah. I like it. And it's not, it's not too chewy. At first I was like, uh oh, beef jerky. Like I'm going to need a toothpick. But no, it's perfect. It's so good. Wow. That is amazing. I'm definitely going to eat this once I turn the camera off. <laughs> but wow, that is so good. And is there anything else that you'd like everybody to know? I told them that you guys are currently you know, closed for dining in, but I told them how amazing the place is. When it is open, it's always packed, it's always fun. Yeah. Everybody's super cool here. Uh, yeah. And if, if, if anything, we just want to say like, uh, thank you to all the people that are supporting us. Yeah, so thank you to everybody that's supporting them. So, you know, and if you have not been here yet, guys, you're missing out. You gotta come down to Grapau. And so you can order to go, and the number is 951-780-1132. I'm gonna put that in the comments in the post as well. And yeah, and they're located um, in the Mission Grove Center and at 497 Alessandro Boulevard. So yeah, come on down, check them out, and hopefully probably maybe in the next week as soon as the, uh, this, the lift is off. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I know. All right. Well, thank you so much for having us and sponsoring the show, and thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm going to go ahead and start digging into this, but I will see you next week. Bye. <laughs>
right there. <laughs>